This is Kristen from Weird Reddit 111. I truly hope that you're enjoying these videos I produce on my channel. Your feedback is very valuable. And I appreciate every like, comment, share, and subscribe I get on my channel. So, you know, it truly warms my heart. I ask that you please continue to show support. And if you're new here, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please help the channel reach 1,000 subscribers. I hope you enjoyed today's videos. And remember, don't forget to slap that notification button. Our first story comes from Mrs. Randall Flagg. Um, this just happened last Sunday after a horrible snowstorm. Um, we got about two feet of snow. I woke up and couldn't find my husband. It's the weekend, so I know he was not at work, so I figure he's shoveling the porch. I look out my window and see my parking spot. Covered in snow and my uh, black car is not there. I look at the porch and it is also covered in snow and my husband is not out there. I have to pee, so I go to the bathroom. It couldn't have taken any longer than a minute, but when I went back to the living room, my husband was coming inside. I ask where he was and he says he was shoveling the porch. Of course I told him that's not possible and explain what I saw. He's looking at me like I'm crazy, so I look out the window. My car is there, covered in snow, but perfectly visible, and the porch has no snow on it at all. There is no way my husband cleared um, two feet of snow from our porch in under a minute. I know my brain could have played a trick on me with the car, but there's no way I could have mistaken a snow-free porch for one covered in two feet of snow. Can't figure it out at all. Our next story is from Professional R March 54. My sister and I were driving to the grocery store one night, just talking about what I cannot remember. We weren't aware that the lights were off, but suddenly every single floodlight in the strip mall parking lot flared with stadium lighting for only a moment before returning to normal. It then occurred to us that we'd somehow missed a power outage. I mean, we had to have, um, the lights very clearly just came back on, but it was weird because the lights had never shown that bright before. We booked it the hell out of Dodge. Our next story is from R. Palm. For years, he had the same recurring dream about a small town where an ex lived back in 2013. The town with a population of about 20,000 isn't a tourist hotspot. Even when he was there, he wasn't particularly interested in sightseeing. About a year after they broke up, Arpom started having dreams of returning to this town by train and trying to reach a specific statue he had never visited. Despite the fact that he had never been there, he was sure the statue was on the opposite side of town from the train station and where his ex lived. He thought he my, he must have seen it somewhere and was dreaming about it because he wanted to go back. But then the dream started becoming increasingly strange every time he would arrive by train, but the town would be completely different. Uh, one night it was a small floating village. Uh, another night it was a bustling metropolis reminiscent of Hong Kong. But one thing remained constant. He would always get incredibly close to the statue, yet he could never reach it. He had never seen the statue not even in his dreams. It was always just out of reach. He still thought it was just his mind playing tricks on him um, until he started seeing this statue everywhere. It appeared in a history book he had in school. Three different friends who knew nothing about his dreams visited the statue for work and took pictures. It was featured in a random documentary he was watching and another friend unexpectedly mentioned wanting to visit the statue. Then, just as suddenly as they started, the dreams stopped. He hasn't had them in years. 
he thought maybe he needed closure over the relationship. But his ex was never mentioned in the dreams. Maybe he was supposed to go there to try and reach the statue for real, but he never did. In our next account, we turn to Tower Educational. Uh, a few years ago, they were leaving the Chicago airport caught in um, the typical snarl of traffic heading into the city. Um, Tower Educational and their mother sat in the back seat, their taxi driver quietly focusing on the road ahead. As they sat in the standstill traffic, Tower Educational's attention was drawn outside the window towards the airport's takeoff areas. Suddenly, they noticed something peculiar. A plane had just started its ascension, lifting off the ground and reaching about 200 feet into the air. But then inexplicably, it just stopped, suspended in the air, frozen in time and space. Tower Educational quickly brought it to their mother's attention, um, who shared their confusion. The sight was so unusual that even their usually silent taxi driver uh, took notice, his confusion mirroring their own. They found themselves questioning the reality of the situation. Could it just be a trick of the eye, an illusion caused by their angle of view? Or perhaps the plane was moving, but so slowly that they couldn't perceive it? But the oddity of the situation was undeniable. The plane was simply hovering above the ground. As the traffic began to move again, the suspended plane also sprung back into motion. Their driver managed to capture a picture of the inexplicable event, a memento of the strange encounter. Unfortunately, Tower Educational never thought to ask for a copy. This story serves as another reminder of how strange and unexplainable events can happen in the most unexpected places. Our next tale comes from a user named IdiotBaby9954. And no, I don't choose the names. Following her high school graduation, um, IdiotBaby954 received a beautiful necklace from her cousin as a gift. She remembers it being a precious piece, probably quite expensive as it was from Nordstrom Rack. However, as years passed, she lost the necklace and didn't think much of it as losing jewelry was a common occurrence for her. Fast forward to her fourth year of college, she began dating her current boyfriend. After graduating, her boyfriend moved to Michigan and a year later, she decided to join him. As she was settling into his apartment and organizing her belongings, she dumped her jewelry into his organizer. A while later, as she was rummaging through the organizer for a pair of earrings, she stumbled up on a familiar piece of jewelry, the necklace, which she had thought was lost for at least three years, was right there in the midst of all her other pieces. This story adds another layer to the mystery of lost and found items and how they sometimes resurface when we least expect it. It raises questions about whether we ever truly lose anything or if they're just waiting for the right time to be found. Our next story is by Brutal X Betrayal. One day his family decided to embark on a mini adventure a casual uh, walk into the woods behind their house. The woods were familiar and inviting, yet held a sense of mystery that always intrigued Brutal's betrayal. They walked in a straight line, enjoying the serenity of nature, the rustling leaves under their feet, and the chirping of the birds. However, as they emerged from the woods, they found themselves in an entirely different neighborhood. The houses looked different. The streets were unfamiliar. It was as if they had stepped into a different world altogether, bewildered yet intrigued. They walked around one of the houses trying to find someone to ask for directions. But as they turned the corner, they were met with a sight that left them utterly dumbfounded. 
they found themselves standing right in front of their own house. The same house they had just left from the backside after walking a straight line into the woods. To this day, Brutal's betrayal's parents don't recall their peculiar walk that day, but Brutal's betrayal is left with an unshakable memory and a mystery that remains unsolved. How did they manage to end up at the front side of their house after walking a straight line away from the back of the house? It's a question that haunts him, adding yet another intriguing tale to our collection of peculiar occurrences. Our next story is from Waterloo grad. Sometimes dreams seem more like a reality than a figment of our imagination. And um, Waterloo grad has had their fair share of these. They have dreams so vivid, so detailed, that they feel like premonitions. And the most eerie part is these dreams come true within a year. Waterloo grad recalls one such dream where they found themselves in an unknown classroom, a setting they had never seen before. It was just a typical room filled with students and a teacher at the front, nothing extraordinary. However, a year later, they found themselves stepping into the exact same classroom. The room that was once just a part of their dream was now their math classroom. The dream had turned into reality, leaving Waterloo grad astounded. But the uncanny incidents didn't stop there. They dreamt of the beautiful city of San Francisco, a city they'd never visited before. And as if the universe had conspired to make their dream come true, they found themselves in San Francisco a year later. Not only that, but they also dreamt of a new car, a car they hadn't even thought of buying. And yet a year later, they found themselves behind the wheel of the very same car. Waterloo grad acknowledges that there might be plausible explanations for all these strange coincidences. Perhaps their subconscious mind was picking up on subtle cues and weaving them into dreams. But it's always a bit freaky when dreams imitate life so accurately. It leaves one wondering about the fine line between coincidence and premonition, between dreams and reality. Our next story is by Crimson Marksman. Uh, six years ago, back in 2012, Crimson Marksman, his brother, and their father um, embarked on a hiking trip. It was supposed to be a day um, filled with adventure and bonding, but it quickly turned into a day they would never forget. During the course of their hike, Crimson Marksman's brother mysteriously disappeared. One minute he was walking beside them, the next he had vanished panic set in and they quickly alerted the authorities. A search party was formed and they scoured the woods, but there was no trace of his brother. Just when despair was about to take hold, the unimaginable happened. His brother appeared at the start of the trail, seemingly um, unharmed and unaware of the turmoil his disappearance had caused. He had simply taken a nap, lost in the beauty of the woods. This incident left such an impact on Crimson Marksman that he hasn't gone hiking since. This story reminds us that sometimes the most ordinary outings can turn into extraordinary tales. Our next story from Reddit user Vampire Packs adds another layer of mystery to our journey. One evening, Vampire Packs and his girlfriend decided to call it a night. As sleep took hold, Vampire Pax found himself in the midst of a vivid dream. In this dream, his girlfriend was being invited to a party. Something about this party felt wrong, and he could sense danger lurking around. Upon waking, he felt compelled to warn his girlfriend about the dream, and advised her to decline any unexpected party invitations. To his surprise, shortly after their morning coffee, his girlfriend received an invitation to a party from a friend. 
vampire packs couldn't believe the coincidence. The dream, the warning, and now the invitation. It all felt too surreal. His girlfriend heeded his advice and politely declined the invitation. This incident left them both astounded and vampire packs would always remember this as the day his dream foreshadowed reality. This story serves as a reminder that sometimes our dreams may just be more than mere figments of our imagination. Our next story is from user Easy Baked Kika, another Reddit user who experienced an inexplicable event that left him uh, questioning reality. One evening, Easy Baked Kika decided to step outside for a smoke. Leaving the doors of his house open, he lit up under the night sky. Soon, he noticed his pet cat, Salem, darting out of the house and into the woods. Worried about the feline, Easy Baked Kika extinguished his cigarette and chased after Salem into the dense woods. After a short pursuit, Salem was back in his arms and Easy Baked Kiki decided to heed back home. But as he approached his house, he found to his utter shock that the doors he had left open were now locked. Confused and a little worried, he peered through the window only to see Salem sitting comfortably inside the house, looking at him with innocent eyes. How did the doors lock themselves? How did Salem manage to get inside the house before him? The incident left Easy Bake and Kika scratching his head in disbelief. He jokingly thought, I don't think he upgraded the skill of locking doors. But the mystery of this event remained, adding another intriguing tale to our collection of unexplained stories. Our next story is from user Toodle Doodler, uh, who shared an unaccountable incident that not only baffled him, but also his friend. One morning, Toodle Doodler received a text message on his phone. Glancing at the screen, he realized that it was a scam message, but what caught his attention was that it was written in Finnish, a language he didn't understand. Puzzled, he showed the message to his friend, who, to Toodle Doodler's surprise, read out the message accurately in English. The thing is, his friend didn't know a word of Finnish. He had never studied the language, nor had any exposure to it. Yet, in that moment, he was able to translate the text perfectly. Stunned, Toodle Doodler asked his friend how he did it. His friend was just as baffled, unable to explain how he understood and translated a language he had never learned. It was like his brain temporarily had a Google Translate function. Just as quickly as it came, the ability disappeared, leaving them both in a state of bewilderment. This inexplicable event adds another layer of mystery to our collection of unexplained stories. Our next story is coming from Reddit user Existing Birthday 74. One sunny afternoon, Existing Birthday 74, and her family decided to visit the charming San Antonio Riverwalk. As they strolled along the canal, they decided to cross a bridge that led to an array of bustling restaurants on the other side. They enjoyed a hearty meal, shared some laughs, and decided to head back home. To return, they crossed the same bridge again. But here's where the story takes a strange turn. As they set foot on what should have been the original side of the canal, they found themselves on the same side they started from. That's right, despite only crossing the bridge twice, they somehow ended up exactly where they were before crossing the bridge the first time. They were utterly puzzled, for none of them remembered crossing a bridge a third time. Was it a trick of the mind, or did they experience a glitch in reality? This bewildering bridge crossing adds yet another uncanny tale to our collection of unexplained stories. Our next story comes from user Really Big Leg. 
this isn't just a tale from the corners of the internet, but a case printed in the British Medical Journal. The protagonist of our story is A.B. Shoyayam Ha Omle, a full-time homemaker who experienced something extraordinary one day. While reading at home, she suddenly heard a voice in her head, a voice claiming to be from the Children's Hospital, Great Ormond Street, offering to help her. Understandably worried, A.B. consulted her family doctor and a psychiatrist, Dr. Azonye. The diagnosis, functional hallucinatory psychosis. But the voices weren't done with A.B. yet. They returned, but this time with a chilling message. The voice revealed the presence of a tumor in her brainstem and instructed her to get a scan. Despite no medical evidence supporting the claim, a scan was eventually done due to AB's distress. And shockingly, the scan revealed a meningioma, a type of brain tumor. AB opted for immediate surgery and post-surgery, the voices bid her a final goodbye. This story serves as a reminder of the unexplainable phenomena that can occur, adding another layer of mystery to our collection. It's a tale that leaves us questioning the limits of our understanding, the power of our minds, and the mysteries of the universe. Our next story is from User I Loves My Bacon. After moving into a new house, I Loves My Bacon experienced a series of unexplainable events. The first strange occurrence was the sound of furniture moving upstairs. Each time they went to investigate, the noises would stop and they'd find nothing out of place. This continued for several nights, adding a layer of unease to their new home. Then one night, I Loves My Bacon had a dream. They were in a car crash on a foggy and rainy night. As they lay in the wreckage, a mysterious figure appeared, asking if they were ready to move on. They woke up in a cold sweat, um, the dream's images still lingering. A few days later, while driving to work on a um, similar foggy and rainy night, they felt an eerie sense of deja vu. Upon reaching work, a coworker mentioned seeing someone follow a love as my bacon inside, but when they turned around, there was no one there. This story adds another layer of mystery to our collection, reminding us that sometimes the most ordinary places can turn into extraordinary tales. It's a tale that leaves us questioning the boundaries between dreams and reality, the unseen forces that might be at play around us and the inexplicable events that can turn everyday life into a realm of the uncanny. Our next story is from um, user Mr. Witch. This happened during a hike through the remnants of a remote, long abandoned town in the surrounding area. As Mayor Witch trekked through the overgrown paths, they stumbled upon a peculiar sight. A man seemingly in his 60s was sitting in a tree. He was wearing blue satin pajamas, a sight that was as bizarre as it was out of place. The man's laughter echoed through the otherwise silent woods, a sound that was more unsettling than it was joyful. Mr. Witch tried to engage him in conversation, but the man only responded with more laughter. Suddenly, he vanished as if swallowed by the tree itself. Mr. Witch was left with nothing but the lingering echo of his eerie laughter and a deep sense of unease. The mystery of the man's presence in such a secluded area, his strange attire, and his sudden disappearance left Mr. Witch questioning the reality of what they had witnessed. This story adds another layer of mystery to our collection, reminding us that Sometimes the most ordinary places can turn into extraordinary tales. It's a tale that leaves us questioning the boundaries between the real and the surreal and the inexplicable events that can turn everyday life into a realm of the uncanny. Our next story comes from user the SF91. This peculiar incident occurred about two months ago when the SF91 was home alone. 
His parents had traveled and were not due back until late in the evening. The house was quiet, the only noises being the occasional creaks and groans of the old structure settling for the night. Suddenly, in the middle of the night, the Ceph 91 woke up to see the light on in his parents' room. Assuming that his parents had returned, he called out to them, but there was no response. Curiosity piqued, he decided to investigate. As he approached the room, a strange feeling of unease washed over him. The door creaked open to reveal an untouched room exactly as his parents had left it. The light was on, but his parents were nowhere in sight. The realization that his parents had not returned and the room was untouched sent a chill down his spine. The light switch was off, yet the room was bathed in an unnatural glow. It was as if the room itself was emanating light. The SF91 quickly turned on and off the switch, plunging the room back into darkness. This story serves as a reminder of the unexplainable phenomena that can occur, adding another layer of mystery to our collection. It's a tale that leaves us questioning the boundaries between the real and the surreal, and the inexplicable events that can turn a normal night into a realm of the uncanny. Our next tale comes from user Cake Batter, who shares an unsettling event involving a phone call with their sister. Cake Batter's sister was home alone, enjoying the solitude of the empty house. Suddenly, an eerie, animalistic, growling noise began to echo from a corner of the house. The unsettling sound seemed to permeate the entire home. Chilling her to the bone, the hallway lights started to flicker intermittently as if they were reacting to the inexplicable growling. The family dog, usually a beacon of comfort, began to whimper and cower, his eyes fixated on the corner from which the sounds were emanating. Weeks later, Cake Batter's brother visited the house and reported unusual occurrences. He too heard the inexplicable growling sounds accompanied by an uncanny sense of unease. The lights flickered just as before, casting an eerie glow that seemed to pulse in time with the growls. The dog's reaction remained the same, his fear palpable and confirming the unsettling presence. This story adds another layer of mystery to our collection, reminding us that sometimes the most ordinary places can be transformed into extraordinary tales of the unexplained. It's a tale that leaves us questioning the boundaries between reality and the unknown and the inexplicable events that can turn a um, seemingly normal home into a realm of the uncanny. Our next story is from Loikan, who shares a chilling encounter from his teenage years. At the tender age of 11, Yari, um, Loikan's family moved into a new house. The previous owners were a family, the mother of which had tragically passed away from cancer. They sold the house shortly after her demise, leaving a lingering sense of melancholy. Fast forward five years. Loikan, now 16, experienced an eerie event that would forever leave him questioning his sanity. He was in his room, a place of comfort and solitude, when he suddenly felt an inexplicable chill. The air around him seemed to thicken, making it hard for him to breathe. A sense of dread washed over him, as though an invisible presence was in the room. This invisible entity seemed to move around the room in a slow, deliberate manner, its unseen gaze felt by Loiken. The room, which was once his sanctuary, had now transformed into a stage for an uncanny performance by an unseen actor. This story adds another layer of mystery to our collection, reminding us that sometimes the most ordinary places can turn into extraordinary tales. It's a tale that leaves us questioning the boundaries between reality and the surreal and the inexplicable events that can turn a seemingly normal room into a realm of the uncanny. 
Our next story comes from Biscuithead8237, who shares a haunting encounter from her past. Following the funeral of her father, Biscuithead8237, her sister and their aunt, their father's sister, um, found themselves reminiscing around the dining table. As they navigated through the labyrinth of memories, they stumbled upon a past event that sent shivers down their spines. The event revolved around the tragic death of their cousin. As they delved deeper into the story, both Biscuithead8237 and her sister recalled an eerie incident that occurred shortly after their cousin's passing. They both distinctly remembered seeing their cousin's ghost at the playground, a place they often visited together. The ghostly figure was seen swinging on the swing set seemingly oblivious to the physical world around it. This spectral vision left them petrified, yet fascinated. This story adds yet another layer to our collection of mysterious tales, blurring the boundaries between the real and the surreal. It's a tale that leaves us questioning our understanding of the world and the inexplicable events that can transform everyday life into a realm of the uncanny. Our next tale originates from Alexandra Zinn, a fellow YouTube subscriber who recalls a chilling event from her past. A few years ago, she was preparing for an overnight camping trip in a remote location, devoid of any cell phone service. Just before her departure, she received a call from her mother informing her that her grandfather was scheduled for a routine surgery that same day. Encouraged to send her love and best wishes, Alexanderson spoke to her grandfather, assuring him and herself that everything would be fine. Later that night, nestled in the depths of the wilderness, Alexandrazen found herself plunged into a vivid dream. The dream was hauntingly centered around her grandfather's surgery, but unlike the real world expectations, the procedure in her dream went horribly wrong. She woke up, her heart pounding with an unshakable certainty that her grandfather had passed away. This dream, so vivid and disturbing, seemed to transcend the boundaries of the dream world and seep into reality. It was as if Alexandrison had been granted a grim glimpse into the future, an experience that stirred a profound sense of dread and helplessness within her. This tale um, adds yet another layer of mystery to our collection, blurring the line between reality and the dream world. It's a story that forces us to question our understanding of the world around us and the inexplicable events that transform our everyday life into an uncanny realm of the mysterious and the unknown. Our final tale for today comes from another brave subscriber, Not My Cat who shares a strange encounter from a starry night in Utah. Last summer, Not My Cat and her boyfriend decided to venture into a remote town in Utah to indulge in some astrophotography. They had recently acquired a new DSLR camera and lens and were eager to capture the beauty of the night sky. As they set up their equipment in the pitch black darkness, they felt an eerie stillness fill the air. The silence was so profound that it felt as if they were the only souls in that vast expanse. Suddenly they heard something. It was a heavy labored breathing, seemingly coming from right behind them. They turned around, but all they could see was the impenetrable darkness. They were alone, yet they felt an inexplicable presence around them. They quickly packed their gear and left the area, the sounds of that heavy breathing still echoing in their minds. This tale adds yet another layer of mystery to our collection, blurring the line between reality and the surreal. It's a story that forces us to question our understanding of the world around us and the inexplicable events that transform our everyday life into an uncanny realm of the mysterious and the unknown. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the mysteries of the mundane. We've heard stories that chill us to the bone, make us question our reality, 
and compel us to explore the unknown. We are now at 574 subscribers, inching closer to our goal of a thousand. Every like, every subscribe helps us grow. So keep the love coming, share our stories with your friends, and let's delve deeper into the mysteries together. And remember, the world is full of stories waiting to be told. So if you've experienced something unexplainable, we'd love to hear about it. This is Kristen from Weird Reddit 111 signing off. Until next time, stay curious, stay vigilant, and most importantly, stay safe.